going on everybody? Welcome to day 13 of the Technique Tune-Up Challenge. Today we are picking up where we left off yesterday with the E major scale. We're basically doing this little sequence like this. It's a pick for the open string. Then we're taking pairs of notes with the E major scale. We're hammering on from the lower note to the upper note. We're picking the upper note, pulling off to the lower note, and then pulling off to the open string. That's and we just kind of march up and down the high E string doing that. We're going to be starting off with F sharp and G sharp, G sharp and A, A and B, B and C sharp, C sharp and D sharp, D sharp and E, E and F sharp, and F sharp and G sharp. Then we repeat that, come back down, F sharp and G sharp, E and F sharp, D sharp and E, C sharp and D sharp, B and C sharp, A and B, G sharp and A, F sharp and G sharp. All right, let's take a moment and talk through the technique tips. So there are a couple of things here that I want to point out. First of all, we're using that classical hand position where the thumb is kind of in between the first and second fingers. It is not poking around the top of the neck like that. Nope. We want to have that thumb beginning to trail if we move up the neck. Think of it kind of like a, if you will, a broken windshield wiper that's sticking out like this. But look at what happens with the thumb. It naturally begins to trail like that. All right, in terms of the subdivision method, because you knew that was coming, one set of eighth note triplets, Two sets of 16th note triplets. All right, and I would suggest hanging out and doing that in addition to going up and down the neck, doing that at each spot so you really get a feel for what it is like to make these triplets very triplety at each location because as you begin to move up the neck, the notes start to just get a little bit smaller as they, they get higher. Um, and because of that, we're gonna wanna employ one other thing. When I'm playing at the bottom of the neck, I'm picking a little bit harder because you just get a little bit more volume with the hammer-ons and the pull-offs. When I get to the top of the neck, I start to lighten up. And so what you really want to begin to do is think of, I'm going to use my right hand here as an analogy here. At the bottom of the neck, you're digging in more. At the top of the neck, you're lightening up. And that shift is happening as you're moving up and down the neck. Kind of a strange analogy, but I think you get the point. Um, the other thing to keep in mind is I want you to think about these note names. If you get used to thinking about them, F sharp and G sharp, G sharp and A, A and B, B and C sharp, C sharp and D, D sharp and E, E and F sharp, F sharp and G sharp, so on and so forth, you really begin to look at the neck and go, right, E, F sharp, G sharp, A, B, C sharp, D sharp, E, F sharp, G sharp. You just begin to memorize those notes. By the way, don't just go up the neck. In any case, this is a really fun exercise, and I just love the way it feels. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I do, and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow.